Good evening there, welcome back to the channel. Tonight I'm out uh, with Martijn and we are walking now uh, to a uh, historic radio transmitter and we hope to shoot Orion. But first we will have to uh, walk through this uh, Blair Witchy kind of uh, creepy, dense, dark forest. So uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> After half an hour of walking, we have uh, arrived here on the header fields. Uh, we have survived, I must say. <laughs> no creepy animals or something. You can see uh, there uh, on your left, on my right, uh, the radio transmitter uh, there in the distance. Uh, we can do a little bit of astro bingo here because you can also see that the clouds have come rolling in. But uh, looking to the forecast apps, uh, we should have about half an hour of clear skies in about an hour. So uh, yeah, what we will do, we will just set up our trackers here uh, so that we have a clean shot there to the uh, southeast where Orion will be rising. And after that, or maybe somewhere in between, we will go to uh, uh, the radio transmitter and see what we can find foreground-wise. So uh, let's go. While the clouds lingered, we decided to investigate potential compositions. So we are now uh, at our first uh, possible composition. Um, what are we shooting, Martijn? Yeah, we're now shooting the, the radio transmitter as a foreground. So uh -huh. uh, I'm, shooting at, I'm shooting it at uh, 50 millimeter. Yeah. And I'm shooting a uh, uh, HDR bracket because there are some lights in the radio transmitter. To yeah. make sure that it's not uh, highlighted too much. Yeah, yeah it uh, sets uh, the radio transmitter is pretty far, but it uh, sets it pretty well in the environment, which is pretty weird. We have a uh, large Art Deco building in the middle of nowhere on a header field in the middle of nature. So uh, yeah, it looks pretty bizarre. This iconic building is special because of its important role in Dutch history. Early in the 20th century, the shortwave radio transmitter was the first to establish wireless contact with the then Dutch East Indy colonies. The transmitter was blown up by the occupying forces at the end of World War II. Nowadays, the Art Deco building looks almost otherworldly in an alien environment. Maybe that's why I love it so much. We have uh, found another composition. It's a bit closer to the building now, where you can see Orion above it. It's clearing up pretty nicely. It is cold, but it's not as cold as we expected, so we are pretty comfortable in our five, six layers of clothing. And Martijn is now uh, fine-tuning his composition, and I think he has kind of the same composition in mind as I have. He's shooting at 15 millimeters. I'm uh, going for a 24 millimeter shot, I think. And uh, yeah, clear skies behind us, coming in from the uh, north, West, well, anyway, coming in. <laughs> and uh, yeah, maybe we will succeed after all. So it's now about uh, half an hour later. Um, Martijn has finished his foreground. He's now somewhere on this head of fields, uh, hopefully shooting a, a tracked stack of the sky. Uh, when I found a composition, uh, I uh, did a quick uh, shot, an HDR shot of the foreground. Uh, and then I saw clouds coming, uh, come rolling in already. So uh, I don't have time to set up my tracker. So uh, I'm now just shooting a stack uh, of the sky, tripod, same position, uh, camera at the same position. And uh, yeah, I'll figure it out in post-processing, but uh, <laughs> let's see how that comes out. Although I really like the composition, the clouds totally ruined my sky exposures. We decided to try our luck and stick around. It's uh, turning out to be a weird evening. Uh, just as I uh, was uh, going to shoot uh, some sky shots uh, for a normal stack, uh, the clouds came over. So I don't really have a good uh, yeah, sky shot of, uh, of Orion for my same tripod position. Uh, Martijn uh, has set up his tracker uh, in the meantime here on the bicycle path, a couple of hundred meters the, down to the forest. But uh, what happened? Whoa! What? That was a meteor. Nice. And a big one. And what uh, happened before? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the clouds came rolling in suddenly. So Bingo. It, it, it was not on the radar until I think 10 minutes ago. It suddenly was there. Yeah. But it's also getting clear now in the, in the northwest. So 
let's hope it will go over us and then uh, Orion will be free. Yeah, yeah. And maybe turn around the camera to shoot sickness because sickness is clearly visible right now. So uh, you do that. Uh, I have also set up my uh, camera in the meantime, no, not my camera, my uh, star tracker, so that uh, if the sky uh, comes, uh, the, the clear sky comes uh, at where Orion is, I can also shoot a uh, sky stack so I can improve on my uh, on my Orion shots. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, it's getting very cold. Uh, a bit uncomfortable cold, but uh, still we are enjoying our night out because we hear nobody, we are the only ones and uh, sometimes you only hear an airplane and I hear Martijn, but uh, hey, that's what you get right if you have Astro friends. <laughs> Furthermore, good evening, fingers crossed. After about an hour of waiting, it finally happened. You see that up ahead? We got clear skies, totally clear. It's already, uh, <laughs> already showing very much H alpha, so that means the sky quality looks pretty good. Martijn is dancing behind me because he's so super cold, but hey, we don't even care because successful evening. Nice, 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 nice. Hey Martijn, yes. what are we tonight? What are we tonight? Lucky. <laughs> Not lucky. <laughs> Look at that. Who grab every chance to make it a successful night. True that, true that. Spoken as a wise man. Decided uh, to try and uh, shoot some H alpha shots. So I'm going to uh, remove the lens and give it to Martijn and hope I am not in his frame. <laughs> Thank you. Do it quick. <laughs> I have a mirror lockup. There it goes. Excellent. Wow, oh, look at that H alpha. So we have been freezing now, but totally worth it. As you can see all around us, as it is super clear. Our trackers are just uh, finishing up. I think we're making the last shots. I have also a couple of H alpha shots, uh, which looked awesome by the way. And uh, yeah, you see some mist coming in, very yeah. atmospheric. Uh, yeah, I think uh, the evening started a bit chaotic, but yeah, what else is new? But uh, in the end, I think... We knew, we knew the prediction was getting clear, so... Yeah, yeah. It, it did, but you just never know. It uh, was predicted to be clear uh, two hours earlier, yeah. and, it, and it wasn't. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, I think I will uh, combine these tracked uh, shots uh, also with H-Alpha with the foreground shots I made earlier. Um, I'm only going to use a very small slice of uh, sky because, yeah, that's what fitted my composition. Uh, what is your composition? Uh, yeah, my composition was a little bit wider, yeah. uh, at, but, but also on 15 mm. Um, and I will also include uh, the winter circle at 15 mm. You're shooting the entire winter circle? I'm shooting the entire oh, winter awesome. circle. Yeah. Yeah. It's visible, beautiful. Yeah, and the sky quality is really good. So yeah. already in single shots we see a lot of H alpha, right? So that's a good sign. We do seeing the horse head for the first time this year, also awesome. So yeah. I don't have any more synonyms for awesome, <laughs> great and uh, superb. Superb night, yes. We enjoyed ourselves very much. I also really hope you enjoyed this video again. At least, thank you again for watching and I hope I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.